The coronavirus pandemic is not only taking its toll on small businesses, it's also negatively impacting nonprofits. Local community leaders have stepped up in an effort to raise one and a half million dollars to ensure local nonprofits are able to provide emergency assistance to families and individuals who have been hurt financially. The Literacy Center in Attleboro is one of the nonprofits that will benefit from that fundraiser. I spoke to the center's executive director, Amanda Blount, on Thursday about the drive. The Stronger Together Fund is a campaign to raise uh, collective funds for the nonprofits in the greater Attleboro area, as well as individuals and families who are suffering financially due to the COVID-19 crisis. The Literacy Center, how important is this fundraiser to a small organization like yours? It's critically important. Um, small organizations often don't have the capacity to do significant fundraising on their own. Uh, the Literacy Center has um, longstanding wonderful grant relationships with many funders, but some of our area food pantries are completely volunteer run. Uh, some of, including I believe the one in Mansfield, um, some of them are run out of churches, some of them are run out of other organizations. So some of these small organizations that are taking on significantly more clientele now due to this crisis um, are greatly in need of funds and the Stronger Together Fund intends to provide the funding to those small organizations as well as some of the larger organizations that provide critical services in our communities. I think it's important to note for people watching this in North Attleboro and Plainville, although the Literacy Center is in Attleboro and I read today's Sun Chronicle and many of the organizations benefiting from this are located in Attleboro, it still serves people in North Attleboro, Plainville and all surrounding communities. That's right. So uh, the Greater Attleboro Stronger Together Fund, which is a mouthful, um, it is intended to serve all of our shared communities. Uh, in fact, we are serving organizations in Attleboro, North Attleboro, Mansfield, Rehoboth, Norton, and Dighton. So um, it really is intended to serve that larger community. And we made that decision because these are towns and communities that have been hit very hard by the COVID-19 crisis. Lots of people have lost their jobs. Lots of people have been downgraded in their hours. Many parents are juggling uh, new responsibilities of childcare on top of work. Um, and so for all of those reasons, we wanted to make sure that communities that have been hit very hard in our area um, are able to access the funds that are needed to uh, support our families and our neighbors. The goal, one and a half million dollars. That's a lot of money. Uh, the deadline is this coming Monday, which would be the 27th of April, but can people still donate beyond that date? Absolutely. So we will be able to accept contributions into May, um, likely probably at the end of uh, the first week in May, we'll still be collecting contributions. We recognize that some people are receiving their uh, stimulus checks right now, and several people have graciously donated um, those funds or part of those funds to this um, effort. So we want to make sure that we keep it open and available so people can contribute. Uh, however, the intention of this being a very fast process is that we really want to get financial assistance to the families in need as soon as possible. So we don't want to drag our feet. Uh, we don't want to have a long, lengthy process. The intention is to raise the money, get it to the nonprofits who are then able to disseminate it out to the community and to the resources that are so needed right now. The Literacy Center for people watching this, you know, they've driven by it, really don't know what your group does. Uh, explain it to them. Sure. So I'm the executive director of the Literacy Center, and we are an adult education nonprofit. We've been in downtown Attleboro for 32 years. We provide um, low and no cost educational services to over 600 adults each year. We have classes school equivalency, so GED classes, as well as four different levels of English classes uh, for non-native speakers. We have computer training classes. We have a preparation, a preparation for U.S. citizenship class, and we also do one-on-one -on -one tutoring um, with over 100 individuals toward a 
creative goals, including getting a driver's license or passing an industry exam or studying a specific for a specific test in their company. Uh, we provide all different kinds of tutoring in that way. I would think people watching this uh, might believe that the Literacy Center serves mainly Attleboro residents. Is that true? No, um, a large group of our of, of our learners come from Attleboro, but we actually serve people from 26 surrounding towns as far away as uh, Taunton and Fall River um, and uh, as close by as North Attleboro, Mansfield and Norton. That's incredible. Uh, keep up the good work. Uh, for people to donate, what's the best way to do so? The best way to contribute to the effort um, is to go to the website. It's uh, www.strongertogetherattleboro.org. The YMCA of Attleboro is um, acting as the fiscal sponsor for this fund, meaning all of the contributions are tax exempt contributions, their donations um, to a 501c3. Um, however, the Attleboro Y is volunteering those services, so they are not taking any percentage of the of the donation. 100% of contributions will go to the individuals and organizations that this need. That is sensational. Amanda, thank you for not only joining us today, but also the great work you do throughout the entire year. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, and and many thanks to those in our community who are just uh, bending over backward. You know, all of our healthcare workers and our essential employees and people working in the grocery stores and picking up our trash and still going to work every day. Uh, we just thank them so much. It's really allowed us to take the time to stay home and be safe and, and raise these funds for those who are in need. I couldn't have said it better. Thank you again, Amanda. Thank you. Take care and be well.